Australia finds itself at a critical juncture. The nation grapples with a pivotal question. How will it power its future? Will it embrace clean, renewable energy sources? Or take a different path down the road of nuclear power? Australia's energy decisions will shape its future. Please share your ideas in the comments below, share the video with others, and like the video. Subscribe to the Green Planet channel if you haven't already. In Australia, a renewed interest in nuclear energy began to stir. Concerns about energy security and cutting greenhouse gas emissions fueled this resurgence. Influential lobbying groups played a key role. Politicians championed nuclear energy as a solution. Yet this rekindled an age-old debate dividing Australians. Opponents of nuclear energy call it a bankrupt idea. Both literally and figuratively, they cite the high costs of building and maintaining nuclear plants, arguing funds could be better spent on renewables. Critics also highlight the environmental risks and the challenge of disposing radioactive waste. The debate over nuclear energy in Australia is about the future. What kind of country does Australia want to be? Choices today will shape the nation's economy and environment. Is nuclear energy the key to a brighter future or a risky gamble? This debate demands our attention and informed decision. The price tag of nuclear power has a history of cost overruns. Nuclear power is expensive. Projects often spiral over budget. It is a global phenomenon. From the Vogtel plant in the United States to the Flamanville project in France, the story remains the same. Nuclear power rarely comes cheap. Why nuclear projects hemorrhage money? They exceed budgets due to complexities and risks. Specialized expertise and materials are required. Regulatory burdens add expense. The global landscape of nuclear energy is littered with cautionary tales of cost overruns and delays. These examples serve as stark reminders of financial risks. The Vogtel plant in the US exceeds $30 billion. The Flamanville project in France over 19 billion euros. These tales should give Australian policymakers pause. The Renewable Alternative A financially sound path for Australia As Australia grapples with its energy future, if not nuclear, then what? Fortunately, renewable energy sources too, particularly wind and solar. Renewable energy projects can be deployed rapidly and at a fraction of the cost. The cost of solar and wind energy has plummeted making them competitive. They can begin contributing to the energy grid and reducing emissions quickly. Moreover, a shift towards renewables would create economic opportunities. Nuclear power and the economy. A gamble with public funds. Building nuclear power plants is costly. Overruns divert taxpayer money from essential services. Construction creates jobs, but they are temporary. Maintaining a nuclear facility is expensive. Beyond the bottom line, accounting for the unseen costs of nuclear energy. The true cost of nuclear energy extends beyond plant construction and operation. One such cost is managing and disposing of radioactive waste. Another hidden cost is the risk of nuclear proliferation. Reliance on nuclear power could hinder renewable energy development. The debate over nuclear energy in Australia has ignited a firestorm among experts. Leading voices express deep concern about nuclear power. They point to cost overruns, delays, and safety concerns. Dr. Sarah Hoffman calls nuclear power a financial black hole. One of the most persistent myths about nuclear energy is its cost effectiveness. Proponents tout low operating costs, but economists reveal hidden costs and risks. Upfront capital costs are staggering. This diverts resources from critical areas. Long lead times create financial risks. By the time a plant is operational, the market may have shifted. Uncertainty is compounded by cost overruns. While the economic arguments against nuclear power are compelling, it is the environmental risks that give many experts pause. Environmental scientists warn of irreversible consequences. A nuclear accident could devastate coral reefs, fisheries, and coastal communities. 
Dr. Peter Jones links climate change and nuclear risks. Australia faces heat waves, droughts, and bushfires, risking nuclear plants. Energy experts chart a different course, the promise of renewable alternatives. As the debate over nuclear energy intensifies, experts advocate for leveraging Australia's renewable resources. Australia has some of the best solar and wind resources, states Dr. Andrew Blakers. We can generate far more electricity from these clean sources. Investing in renewables benefits both the environment and the economy. Australia can become a renewable energy superpower. Embracing clean technologies creates a sustainable future for all Australians. Lessons from nations that chose renewables over nuclear. The debate over nuclear energy is global. Denmark leads in wind energy, generating over half its electricity. This hasn't hurt its economy. Denmark thrives. Costa Rica aims for 100% renewable energy by 2050. Nearly all its electricity comes from hydro, geothermal, and wind. Small nations can progress with political will. The resurgence of nuclear advocacy, a political calculus. The push for nuclear energy in Australia is driven by political and economic interests. It reflects the changing political landscape and climate awareness. Politicians position themselves as champions of progress and innovation. Unpacking the motivations behind pro-nuclear stances. Some politicians believe in nuclear power's potential. Others see it as a political advantage. It's about looking beyond energy independence rhetoric to uncover political and economic interests. For some, nuclear power delays the transition to renewables, the allure of economic benefits and energy independence. Political rhetoric often centers on these promises. Proponents paint a picture of thriving industries and high-paying jobs. The promise of jobs often hinges on nuclear power plant construction. These jobs are typically temporary and require specialized labor. Scrutinizing the influence of industry lobbying, powerful industry groups sway the political process. This raises concerns about transparency and accountability. The nuclear industry's lobbying efforts can distort public perception and influence policy decisions. However, a closer examination of the data paints a nuanced picture for nuclear power. The levelized cost of electricity, or LCOE, compares lifetime costs of energy sources. It includes capital, operating, and fuel costs. Nuclear LCOE is higher than wind and solar PV. As Australia contemplates its energy future, it must consider policy impacts on nuclear power versus renewables. Establishing a carbon price is key. Through a carbon tax or emissions trading scheme, it internalizes environmental costs, making high emitting sources more expensive and leveling the field for low carbon alternatives. The choice between nuclear and renewable energy pathways will impact Australia's economy, job creation, and growth. Economic modeling provides insights into costs and benefits for informed decisions. A 2021 report by the Institute for Sustainable Futures modeled the economic effects of net zero emissions by 2050. The study found that renewable energy would deliver greater economic benefits than nuclear power. The ISF study projected that renewable energy would create significantly more jobs, especially in regional areas. Historically, nuclear power has been promoted for stable, affordable electricity. Proponents argue nuclear plants provide low, predictable costs. However, upfront capital costs are substantial, often exceeding estimates. Nuclear power, while low in carbon emissions, carries significant environmental risks. The disposal of highly radioactive waste remains dangerous for thousands of years. Accidents like Chernobyl and Fukushima remind us of the devastating consequences. Renewable energy sources offer a cleaner, more sustainable future. Solar and wind power have minimal environmental impacts during operation. Proponents of nuclear power highlight its carbon-free electricity generation as a key advantage. 
However, this ignores significant environmental impacts from uranium mining and radioactive waste disposal. These processes require significant energy inputs, often derived from fossil fuels, causing emissions. Despite decades of research, there's no solution for high-level radioactive waste. Most nuclear waste is stored on-site in pools or dry casks, needing constant monitoring. Risks of leaks or attacks remain. Public opposition creates barriers to solutions. The Chernobyl disaster in 1986 and the Fukushima Daiichi meltdown in 2011 serve as stark reminders of the devastating consequences of nuclear technology. These accidents resulted in widespread contamination and long-term health impacts. The risks are exacerbated by human error and natural disasters. While safety protocols exist, the risk of accidents can't be entirely eliminated. Renewable energy sources have lower accident risks than nuclear power. Solar and wind power plants do not pose a risk of meltdown. Nuclear power relies on uranium mining and milling, impacting biodiversity, water resources, and indigenous communities. Mining often occurs in sensitive areas, contaminating water, disrupting habitats, and displacing populations. Transporting radioactive materials risks spills, exposing communities to hazards. Long-term nuclear waste storage raises justice concerns burdening nearby communities. Renewable energy, like solar and wind, offers a just, clean energy future. Examining these diverse experiences can provide insights as Australia weighs the costs and benefits of this energy source. France generates over 70% of its electricity from nuclear reactors. This reliance has allowed France to achieve low carbon emissions. However, aging reactors raise safety concerns and France has incurred debt financing its program. Driven by technological advancements, declining costs, and climate change concerns, renewables are rapidly transforming energy systems worldwide. China, the world's largest emitter of greenhouse gases, has emerged as a global leader in renewable energy, investing heavily in solar, wind, and hydropower. This rapid expansion in China is driving down costs globally and accelerating the clean energy transition. Denmark, a small Scandinavian country, generates over half of its electricity from wind power, becoming a model for renewable energy. The aging of France's reactor fleet poses a significant challenge. Maintaining and upgrading these reactors is costly and complex. Decommissioning reactors is lengthy and expensive. Building new plants is costly, while renewable energy costs have plummeted. Renewables are increasingly competitive with nuclear power. Public opinion in France towards nuclear power is divided. Germany, a highly industrialized economy, is on an ambitious energy transition. Driven by climate change concerns, Germany is phasing out nuclear and coal power. Despite challenges, renewable energy share has increased dramatically. A crossroads of choice, Australia faces a pivotal decision, shaping its destiny. Nuclear power promises energy abundance, but comes with risks, financial and environmental risks. Loom large, the choice is moral and ethical, shaping our future, a choice between past and clean energy future. The illusion of a quick fix. The allure of nuclear power is a desire for simple solutions. Yet, this perception is an illusion. Nuclear power is slow, expensive, and risky. A sustainable energy future lies elsewhere. A future powered by possibility, the alternative to a nuclear-powered future, is not a return to fossil fuels, but a leap into a future, brimming with possibility. Australia, with abundant renewable resources, can lead the transition to clean energy. Embracing renewables means harnessing sun, wind, and water. Investing in smart grids and storage, a renewable energy future is achievable. Key considerations for Australia's energy future. Australia stands at a crossroads, making crucial energy decisions. 
prioritizing energy efficiency is vital. Unlocking renewables' potential is key. Modernizing the grid ensures a reliable, renewable system. The urgency of choice. The debate over nuclear power is not merely academic. It is profoundly significant, with far-reaching consequences. The urgency of this moment cannot be overstated. The impacts of climate change are already felt. The window of opportunity is closing. Nuclear power, with its risks, is not the answer. The time for procrastination is over. The time for bold, visionary leadership is now. Australia has a choice to make. The path forward is clear. Choose wisely. The debate over nuclear versus renewable energy in Australia is complex. With valid points on both sides, renewables face intermittency, the sun doesn't always shine, and the wind doesn't always blow. This requires robust energy storage solutions for a stable power supply. Nuclear energy provides reliable base load power. Complementing renewables and reducing dependency on storage, nuclear power generates low carbon electricity, aiding in the fight against climate change. However, concerns about radioactive waste management persist. Solar and wind production and disposal also pose environmental challenges. Nuclear power in Australia faces significant regulatory and political hurdles. Legal restrictions make developing nuclear projects difficult. Even if lifted, establishing nuclear plants would take time. Countries with continuous nuclear programs, like South Korea, achieve lower costs. Consistent policy and investment are crucial for nuclear energy feasibility. Public opinion in Australia remains divided on nuclear energy. Engaging with communities is crucial for future energy policy acceptance. Australia's sustainable energy future will likely involve a mix of sources. Renewables lead in cost effectiveness and speed. But nuclear could provide reliable baseload power if challenges are addressed. A balanced, uh, well-informed approach is essential for long-term energy security and environmental goals. As we conclude our series on nuclear energy, it's crucial to reflect on the feedback and discussions we've had with you. Your perspectives have enriched this conversation. Many of you highlighted the importance of a diversified energy portfolio, combining renewables with stable sources like nuclear. Thank you for being part of this journey. Stay informed, stay engaged and let's shape Australia's energy future